YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing another installation video of uh, some more mods for the NTO7. Uh, I mentioned it in the last video after I did the frame sliders and axle sliders that I had a few more things I wanted to do. We are going to be putting on some Bike Master grips. These are the quilted grips to kind of have like a diamond stitching type of look to it. And then replacing the OEM mirrors with CRG Hindsight LS mirrors. These are the three inch round ones and, lane, and the LS stands for lane splitter, uh, which means that they could fold in. So got both left and right. And then we also have to mount those on the Rhino Moto bar ends. As you can see, I have the bike on the rear bike stand already using those rear axle slider slash spools from TST Industries to good use. So yeah, let's uh, get it to it. All right, so we're on the right side of the bike. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is take off this uh, OEM mirror. <laughs> FYI, these OEM mirrors are reverse threaded, so you have to actually go clockwise to, to, to uh, take them off. Now for the actual bar end, you're gonna need a eight millimeter hex key for that. There you go. Now to take off these grips, uh, I've done them before on the old Kawasaki Vulcan S. You can revert to that if you want to take know how to take up take off grips. But from what I understand, Yamaha uses a type of glue on the grips, so it's a bear to take them off. I'm gonna attempt to do that, but if all else fails, I'm just gonna cut the grips, uh, like slice them open and then take them off that way. So, just FYI. This is taking far longer than I wanted to, and I'm actually messing up the grip using these grips and whatnot, so you know what, screw it. I'm just, just gonna cut it open. There we go. I'm not gonna use these ever again, so and, and just, it's not like they have resale value or anything, so it's whatever. All you gotta do is just be mindful of not cutting in too deep and scarring the throttle tube or the, you know, bar if it's on the other side or something. And there you go. There's a ring right here on the throttle tube. Make sure that stays in there. That basically makes it to where this part of the grip doesn't rub against this. So when you get a new pair of grips, you'll notice that one grip has a, this one right here has a slightly bigger diameter than this, even though they're both for a 7 to 8 inch um, handlebar. This one's meant to go over the throttle tube right here. So that way, you know, because it's because with that throttle tube, it's slightly bigger than the actual handlebar itself. So make sure that bigger one goes there. Also, the ends of these are closed. So I'm going to take the blade again and just kind of cut this open. All right, it looks kind of like shit, but it's gonna be covered by the bar end. I'm probably just gonna shave down some of this, some of this leftover part, so that way it doesn't resist going back on here. Now, if I remember correctly, I used the Windex of some kind to use as a lubricant to slide these on when I had the Vulcan S, because this has alcohol in it, meaning that it'll lube this up enough for this to go on but then over a short period of time, it'll evaporate. So let's give that a shot. There it is. The pattern's straight and everything. 
Now, I, I might have to adjust this part right here. I might have to cut some more stuff off. It all depends on how the Rhino Moto bar ends fit into this. So let's move on to that. The Rhino Moto bar ends, they are not side specific. They're pretty universal. See it's right here. All you need to do is get a five mil hex key. Undo this right quick. Take off the end cap. Under this end cap, there's a sh it's right here. This is an eight millimeter, just like the OEM bar ends. So let's just slap this on. Damn it. Not sure if there's a torque spec for this. Um, just get it on real nice and tight, I guess. So, bolt and the end cap. Screw them down. There's that. There is that. The Rhino Moto Bar ends. Now, next is make sure you get the right side. Right side mirror from CRG. So, just so you know, this is how they look like. It's clamped on from right here. You gotta loosen this and this. Uh, you also gotta make sure to keep this in mind because there, this mirror is on a, like a, I guess it's like a Delbrin piece. And the tighter this is, the more this will be snug. Yeah, all you need is a four mil uh, hex key. Undo this. At this point, you could just align it, which, however, way you want it to be aligned. All right, so. My angle is more or less where I want it to be. It's going to be slightly forward. And then from here. There it is. It took me a few minutes. I sat on the bike and like kind of adjusted it to where to, to see how I like it. I'm probably gonna readjust it soon because I actually forgot I probably shouldn't adjust it while on the stand. I should probably adjust it when it's on the ground. But I made it to where it's like slightly forward. The angle of it is slightly forward. And, uh, I put this, this mirror, I angled it down just a tad bit. And this is why they're called the link splitters because you could fold them in. Like that. It's fine, you know, I guess for lane splitting, but also like when I put it in storage or something, uh, cover on it or something, yeah, I could just do that and just put the cover on. That was good. And man, this, these feel so much nicer than the OEM grips. But I mean, of course I'll be using gloves, but even with just bare hands, it just feels nice. Uh, yeah, these bar ends look good. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side now. FYI, I just discovered that that side unscrews anti-clockwise, like normal, so they're both opposite, you know. I don't, I don't know why they did it like that, but hey, whatever. Alright guys, it's done. Looks so much better. A lot more low profile, you know, like, like looking down, looking down the back of the bike, like there's no like random shit sticking out. These are probably going to be more useful than those OEM mirrors, to be honest, in terms of like visibility and whatnot. So they look good, plus they're probably going to be more functional too. And I, I do love these grips. I had something, I had the same brand of grips on the Vulcan S, although a different design, and I love those grips, so I, I just went back with the same company, which is Bike Masters, um, in case you're wondering. I don't know if I'll be able to ride today, but I definitely hopefully can soon because I want to see how these feel like. It's probably going to be a lot better too in terms of like the POV camera, camera angle during the rides. The OEM mirrors look like they got in the way a lot, so I dig it. I dig it. I'm glad I did these. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you liked it. hope it was informative. Hopefully it gave you an idea of what you want to do with your MT-07 or bike in general um, but yeah thanks for stopping by if you like the video hit that like button go ahead and comment if you want to say anything you can share the video too if you want and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet to uh, keep up to date don't forget to follow me on instagram too and other than that have a good one guys peace